Hey Luke here with catsandcarp.com and I'm going to show you one of my favorite carp baits, bird seed. Now there's lots of different types of bird seed and there's lots of different ways to use it. And so me and Nate here are going to show you how to do it. This is one of my, my favorite types of bird seed to use for carp fishing. This is the FM Brown on uh, American Breeder Coffer Mix. It's about $24 per uh, bag, so this is uh, I believe a 50 pound bag. Um, they have other mixes that are more expensive, up to 40 pounds, uh, $40 a bag, uh, but this works just fine. It's got uh, maple peas and Canadian peas in it. Um, really like it. A lot of things that the carp like, none of the stuff they don't like. like so this is my number one choice for uh, using bird seed for carp fishing. Uh, number two is just kind of a generic, all-purpose wild bird food. This is uh, the uh, Southern States um, brand uh, bird, feed, bird seed. I think it was $15 for this 50 pound bag. It's got the uh, sunflowers in it, which I, I don't like. I don't think the carp dig on the, the sunflowers or seeds all that much. And it doesn't and have any of the Canadian and peas in it. So it's kind of a second choice if you want the, 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 the cheaper alternative. But there's lots of different uh, bird seeds to use. The ones with the sunflower seeds, you can make it work, it'll be just fine, but it's not ideal. What you're looking for is you want something that's got a, a big variety of particles in it, lots of different types of grains, because you never really know what the carp are into. And so when you got this smorgasbord of seeds and feed that, that are in there, there's something for everybody. Well, the carp are going to have something they like, and they'll kind of find one particular thing they obsess over, and they'll, they'll pick it out first. And what's really nice about bird seed is that it's so small that it takes forever for them to, to eat all of it. So if you put two, three pounds of bird seed out in the swim in front of where you're fishing, it takes a long time for the carp to eat up all your bait. So if you uh, want to bait a spot before the day before you go fishing, bird seed's a really great way to do it because it's hard for the carp to come in there and just clean it out. Um, oatmeal, grits, uh, even feed corn, you chuck it out there, a car, big carp swims by, he hoovers all that up a few minutes and then there's no more bait and the carp leave. So you want something with all these nice little bits in there, small little bits that the carp like. Not so small that the carp ignore it, but not so big that they can find it and eat it really easily. So this is a really great bait for holding carp in one spot for a long period of time. And there's a little bit of everything in it, so picky carp will find something they like. So it's a really nice uh, base mix when you're mace making carp bait. Now I say base mix because um, the nice thing about bird seed is you can add tons of stuff to it. I, I rarely just use straight up bird seed. For one reason, it's not a hook bait. You can't really put bird seed on a hook and catch fish. You've got to find something you can put on a hook and you mix it in with the bird seed and you, you catch them that way. Feed corn, sweet corn, um, tiger nuts, boilies, uh, these are all good hook baits. You can also use um, chickpeas um, or garbanzo beans. Um, even things like Brazil nuts work really good. Um, so you can take those, uh, mix a few of them in with your bird seed so the carp get used to seeing them and eating them, and you put one on your hook bait uh, as your hook bait and then you throw out a lot of bird seed too and that makes a really good combo. At any rate, there's a lot of different things you can add to your bird seed. So I'm going to go and make up a, a, a little pot of bird seed here and demonstrate kind of the things I like to add into it and how much it costs and, and why I do it. So first thing, thing, whenever you use bird seed or corn or tiger nuts or, or any, a lot of these baits, you're supposed to soak it and boil it before you, uh, you use it. So any of these dry grain baits, soak it, then boil it until it's soft enough that you can squish it between your fingers. Um, it may not technically be necessary to do that, but one, you'll get a lot, it releases a lot of the flavors. Um, yeah, I think it's easier for the carp to digest, especially in the winter time. So uh, just as a good practice, I always I tend to do that. Plus, it's a great way to make your bait go further. Um, so for instance, you know, this bag of uh, pigeon feed here is $24 for 50 pounds. If I go and soak it and boil it, 
this 50 pound bag will become 100 to 200 pounds of bait. So it makes your bait go a lot further. I have this uh, big kettle here full of water and uh, I'm going to add a whole bunch of grains in and let it soak overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to boil it up and it'll be ready for uh, fishing. So this is the Southern States brand bird seed. You can see it's got sunflower seeds in it, it's got various forms of millet and very fine grains. There's even some fine bits of corn in there. This is the FM Brown breeder style uh, pigeon feed. You notice it's got no sunflower seeds. It's got these maple peas, Canadian peas. It's got a lot more grains in it. Nothing with husks. This is feed corn. I got this for $7.99 for a 50 pound bag at Southern States. Extremely cheap. It's great for a hook bait and it's a great additive in the uh, pigeon feed as well. This is cracked corn. Um, it's just a few dollars a bag more expensive than whole corn. So I think this was like $12, $14 a bag at Southern States. And you can see it's finely cracked feed corn. That's all it is, is feed corn that's crushed up. This is a great additive because it's, it has all the flavor of feed corn, but without the big size. So if you want those finer particles to hold the fish in one area longer, to keep them feeding longer, this is great. When you cook it and boil it, it makes this kind of gooey gelatin too, that when you throw it in the water, makes a big cloud of scent. So it's a great attractant, it gets that corn flavor in the water. Um, I don't like to use this just by itself, but it's a great additive to the pigeon feed. It really adds that gooey cloud of scent. So when it hits the water, there's that corn flavor suspended in the water column. This is a good additive if the carp are running off the bottom and you wanna draw them down to the bottom. This is white millet. It's one of the finest grains you can use as carp bait. It's also one of the more expensive ones. It's not as bad as hemp seed, but it's about oh, $30, $40 for a 50 pound bag. But um, a little goes a long way. Uh, and uh, it once again, it works a little bit like the cracked corn where it adds a little bit of a cloud of scent when you boil it. Um, but mostly what it does is it has these little fine particles so it takes longer for the carp to pick up everything and to clean out your spot. So if you're going to be chumming a spot well in advance of when you're gonna be fishing, or if you're gonna be fishing in the same spot for multiple days, use uh, a fair amount of white millet. This is whole barley with its husk on. I got this at a feed store for I believe $19 for a 50 pound bag. It's a nice hearty grain. Um, you can also get uh, whole oats for about the same price and it looks about the same and smells about the same, works about the same. It's a nice additive. It gives a little bit more meat to the mix, something to make the cart fill up and just a little bit more variety. And it's such a cheap additive. Um, you know, I've bought these 50 pound bags for 19 bucks and I've had them for two years. And so, I mean, it just lasts forever. Once it's all mixed up, you'll have some grain floating on the top and it'll look a little bit like this, but you want three or four inches of water covering the mix. Then you go and you let it sit for at least three hours, but I usually do it overnight. And the next day or whenever it's done soaking, you put it on a propane burner and bring it up to temperature. You want to get it boiling. You're going to boil it for about uh, three hours, two hours. And as you can see here, it plumps up a little bit and uh, when it's all done boiling the water's all dried up and you can tell it's done because the maple peas and the corn will squish fairly easily and it'll double in size by the time you're done boiling it it looks like this really nice soft big plump grains um, it'll have a little bit of uh, gooeyness to it it's a really great mix you throw this in the water it puts a big cloud of scent all right so here we go here's the finished product We've got a bunch of boiled uh, 
Yeah, bird seed. As you can see, it's uh, it's over doubled in size, and uh, it uh, makes quite a bit of bait for very very cheap. This will last a bait, long, bait, long bait, time. Bait, bait. <laughs> and uh, if you want to chum bird seed out, it's very simple. If it's close to shore, you can just throw it out by hand, no problem. But you can also use these slingshots that you can buy at bigcarptackle.com. Put it in there, shoot it out there, about doubles your range. And you can use these things that are called spots. Okay, these little rockets, you pack bird seed in the back of them. You go and you tie it to your main line, you cast it out there. When it hits the water, the nose cone floats, turns upside down, and it dumps it in the water. And you can sit there and cast, as far as you can cast, you can chum out uh, bird seed. And they come in all different sizes. There's different makes and models. And they work really good, but this is a very, very effective bait. I've caught dozens and dozens of carp on this I mix. Caught the fish. I caught the fish and book caught. <laughs> Yeah, we've caught a lot of fish. So at any rate, Hey, so hopefully uh, this is helpful, get you out there cart fishing for real cheap. And if you like this video, we've got a bunch of other videos uh, we'd like to show you. If you like that video, check out some of our other great videos about great carp baits, including how to catch carp with oatmeal and a great bait using cured corn with this kokanee corn killer. It's a great little bait. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.